farmers fought the odds and the drought, and it looks like many of them won. On the eve of the first roast of the season at the, a chili farm south of the metro, our Stuart Dyson checked out the crop. He found out chili fans won't be disappointed. This is one of New Mexico's primo chili magnets. Used to be Sickler Farms. A new name, Snake Ranch Farm Store. Same family, same people, same chili. And yes, this stuff does seem to have a magnetic quality. It must be a magnetic field that draws them in. Because the Los Lunas store isn't even open yet. And the roasting won't start full blast till Friday morning. But people in Valencia County can't stay away. The chili, everybody comes here to get the chili. And they'll, they'll roast it for you out in the back. Ourselves, our family, for our friends that are out of town. We even put it in a package and send it to my brother-in-law in Whittier, Alaska. We step through this way and through that way. This year has been a struggle for chili growers. The third straight spring and summer of extreme drought. That's extra hot. And if you didn't have an agricultural well, you didn't have a crop after the irrigation water dried up. Luckily, Snake Ranch Farm has wells. It's been hot and dry and a lot of work, but here's the rewarding part of selling it. And uh, it's nice to, it's nice when you can do it for yourself at a store like this. On top of the drought, there's competition from Mexico and other countries where labor is cheaper. But if you want fresh and you want the best, you'll pay a little more for New Mexico chili. So, the green chili harvest will be going strong till the first frost hits, and that'll be about mid to late October. The red crop starts coming in in mid-September. In Los Lunas, Stuart Dyson, KOBI Eyewitness News 4. There is a tornado warning in effect right now for Curry County.